In this video, we will cover the picking process in Execute. At the home page, click on the Warehouse button. Select Pick List. At the Pick List page, select the Picking Warehouse and enter the picker ID by scanning the employee ID barcode label. Click on the Next button. Execute will display all the pick lists that are assigned to this picker. You can sort the pick list by the pick list number in an ascending order, or by the pick list due date from the earliest to the latest. If you think it would be helpful in your picking process, you can also print out the pick list and hand it to your picker before they perform the picking. Select the pick list to be picked. Total orders indicate the number of orders to pick in this pick list. And total locations indicate the number of warehouse location that the picker has to pick from. Click on the pick button to start picking. Click on the item that you are picking to bring up the confirmation page. If you have set up the corresponding transaction parameter, Execute will require you to input the information of the item that you are picking for validation. Use your mobile device to scan the barcode label for the item, picking location, and the lot number of the item. Execute will auto-populate the full quantity to pick in the quantity field. If you are picking lesser than the allocated quantity, you can change the quantity of the item that you are picking. In this video, we will pick the full quantity. You can verify your picking activity by checking on the details table to ensure that you are picking for the correct customer order. Click on the process button to confirm the picking. After all the items in the pick list are picked, the status of the pick list will change from released to closed. Sometimes you may encounter situation where the customer has canceled the order after you have performed the picking. To return the picked item to the storage location, first you will have to change the pick list status back to released on the web view. Next, your employee in the warehouse can open the pick list form. Select the warehouse and picker ID. Select the pick list to unpick. This time, instead of pick, select the unpick button. Click on the item to be unpicked. Scan the barcode label of the item as a validation. Execute will auto-populate the full quantity to unpick in the quantity field. If you are unpicking lesser than the quantity that has been picked previously, you can change the quantity of the item that you are unpicking. Click on the process button. Thank you for watching this video.